Hey guys, welcome back to Care Zone. My name is Grace and today I'll be discussing this topic with some feeling because I have some friends and family members who are currently managing this disease. I'm creating this awareness today because I want every other person who has not got it yet to be aware and to prevent it. I'm talking about prostate enlargement or benign prostatic hyperplasia. So today my focus is going to be on how to reduce the symptoms if the enlargement is already occurring, how to prevent its speedy enlargement or further enlargement of the prostate, and how to reduce the risk of progression to prostate cancer. So sit back and let's talk about this today. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do, because you know what we do. We talk about things that help us to maintain a good quality of life in good health so subscribe like it share it because we have lots to talk about today the prostate is a gland in the male reproductive system it occurs only in the male reproductive system and it has its specialized function within that place but what happens is that as men age especially from their 40s 50s and above the prostate begins to enlarge in size we can say it's just a natural process or a part of aging and it begins to enlarge to the point that it begins to block the urinary passage. So urine flow is affected and there is a constant urge to go and urinate because even though the urine flow is affected, it does not completely void. So there's a constant feeling that some urine is left in the bladder. And so there's an urge to go back and try to finish it up. But yet it doesn't finish up. And this discomfort continues. In fact, it causes sleeplessness in many persons and a lot of discomfort, as well as urinary tract infections because there's always a little amount of urine left behind after every urination. This enlargement of the prostate is not always cancerous, but in some cases, it can progress to prostate cancer. Another thing is that it doesn't occur in everybody. There are some persons who would grow old and would not come down with enlarged prostate at all. So it doesn't happen in every person. An enlarged prostate and prostate cancer all require medical attention. And now let's talk about how to reduce the risk of prostate cancer, how to reduce the rate of enlargement of the prostate and how to reduce the symptoms. The very first thing I'll be talking about is early detection. From the age of 40, it is advised that men should begin to conduct checkups, examinations that help to screen and check for enlargement of the prostate or occurrence of a prostate cancer. The earlier it is detected, just like any other disease, the better the easier it is to manage it. So let's outline some important steps we need to take in order to help the health of the prostate and as well reduce the rate of um, enlargement or progression to cancer. One of the things we need to do is include zinc in the diet. Zinc is an essential mineral for the prostate. It helps the health of the prostate a lot. And in fact, a decrease in the amount of zinc in the body is linked to the occurrence of an enlarged prostate. So taking lots of zinc can help to reduce the progression or the further enlargement of the prostate. Another thing we need to do is physical exercises. Move more, exercise more. It helps every part of the body. Of course, we already know that. It's also important to eat lots of fiber because they help to soften the pool and help with them easier bowel movements. Remember, we don't want to apply pressure to that area because um, it can worsen the symptoms of the enlarged prostate. So we want to eat fiber that helps us to make easier, softer bowel movements. It's also important to avoid eating and drinking at least two hours before going to bed. And if you are about to go to bed, try as much as possible to urinate and void as completely as much as you can. This will help to reduce sleeplessness due to frequency of urination in the night. Another thing we need to do is include 
lycopene in our diet it's also another important just as we talked about zinc lycopene is also an important nutrient for prostate health so we need to take lots of tomatoes watermelons grapefruits and purple they contain lycopene which is good for prostate health other fruits or foods we need to take we've talked about fibers already so now we'll be talking about oranges lemons and other citrus fruits that are high in vitamin c we can also get zinc from cashew nuts almonds peanuts and other nuts that contain zinc it's also important to take lots of fish and fish oil because they contain vitamin d and omega-3 fatty acids which are very important not even just for the prostate health but also for the heart and other um, organs of the body so are you a man 40 years and above this is the time to take action go for medical checkups and screening examine the prostate and conduct screening tests for um, prostate cancer the earlier any of these things are detected the easier it is to manage them remember physical exercise lots of fibrous food lots of water fruits that contain lycopene fish and fish oil nuts that contain zinc vitamin c in citrus fruits and vitamin d as well all these nutrients will help to reduce the further increase in size of the prostate and as well prevent it from progressing speedily to prostate cancer it will also help to reduce the symptoms remember avoid drinking lots of water at least two hours before going to bed because this can cause frequent urination at night and sleeplessness due to the need to get up and go and urinate throughout the night so till i see you again in my next video continue to stay healthy and stay safe bye